On this week's podcast, we're talking to our special guest, Bill DeCombe. He's a professional voiceover artist, and he's going to be talking, of course, about the thing he does the best, voiceovers. And also, we'll be talking about why you need to hire a professional and how to find them. I could totally have read that better, by the way, Brian. I have no, I have no doubts. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the Dogwood Media Solutions Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Harris. And today we have a special guest in the studio. His name is Bill Lacombe. That's right. Hey, thanks for joining us, Bill. Hey, look, Brian, thanks for having me. This is this is so much fun, the opportunity to come in here into your studio, just into your facility. It's just a great creative vibe in here. So thanks for letting me come and hang yeah, out. I'm, I'm so glad to have you in here. In fact, we've been talking about this, I want to say, since January. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think when we had our grand opening celebration, That's right. uh, you came in here and we saw the studio and we told you about the podcast. I was like, I've got to get you in yeah. to do a podcast issue and let's talk about the subject we're going to be talking about today that's right. uh, which is voiceovers perfect and because yeah. uh, bill is a voiceover artist that's this correct. is part of what he does in, in the midst of other things also too because right. your 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 main breadwinner job is the uh, the financial center leader vp at hancock whitney that's right and uh, up in prattville correct and also you, you are a pike road resident which mm -hmm. is if anyone's listening you know pike dogwood is where it's in pike road sure and that's one of the ways we connected also too because right. your son's a member of the the pike road high school band is a drummer for that sure for them is. and and uh I, I'll go into that story in a little bit more about how we reconnected. But yeah. Also, one of the big things you do too that keeps you really busy mm -hmm. is your chairman of the board for the River Region United Way. Yeah, a lot. That's that's that really is. I mean, I think that keeps me probably almost as busy as the the daytime gig. You know, just mm -hmm. uh, you know, we do a lot there with United Way as far as you know, trying to you know service all of our, our nonprofits and just folks who need it in you know in the area in the River Region. So um, keeps us busy. I love that 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 leadership that I get to uh, to to I guess to to really learn from all these folks on my board and executive committee. So I look at it is as I surround myself with all these these great leaders and, and just try to, to lead at their higher level too. You know? I was going to ask you, what exactly does that mean, the chairman of the board? For, I mean, the River Region United Way is is a big organization that provides right. a lot of money for nonprofits mm -hmm. here in the area. So what is what is the chairman of the board doing? You're, this is a volunteer position, correct? It is. And, and basically, the, the, the role that I always tell folks is I'm really the go-between, the representative of the entire mindset and, and the opinion of the board. And I, I foster that relationship with our CEO, Jana Bailey. So, um, so Jana and I, we have a, um, a really close, tight-knit relationship. I'm kind of hands-on. And, and she always says, hey, this is my boss. You know, technically, <laughs> yeah, but but she's just, you know, she, I, I love her heart and what she's doing. And so I just kind of hang with her and learn from her and kind of just, just get in the boat with her and report it back to the board, make sure the board is well-informed and be the liaison between the staff and also the board who makes okay. a lot of the decisions for United Way. And so. Is this a, like, elected position or um, – Kind of, okay. you know, it was one of those the board had to elect me in, you know, yeah. so I served on the board for a couple of years, Brian. And then um, they asked me, hey, you want to lead? You want to chair this thing? Mm -hmm. So, of course, I'm you know all about it. I, I love leadership and love and really at the end of the day, again, just surrounding myself with awesome people like you here today, you know, just yeah. learning and um, and trying to just add value in any way I can. I was just saying, when do you sleep? Because the right? other things I've got on my list here, you're a voiceover artist. Yeah. I mean, so you're doing a lot of voiceovers. Sure I've heard do. your stuff on Buckmasters, for yeah. instance, that you got out there and I don't know if you can name off any other things you've done stuff for, but yeah. there's some big brands that you've done voiceover work for. I tell you, I've done stuff for the state of Maryland because my um, one of the broker or, or agencies that that uh, that finds work for me mm -hmm. is up in the Baltimore D.C. area. Um, that voiceovers matter, they're called, um, and so um, so of course he does a lot of stuff in that area. And so my clients have been um, state of Maryland, uh, the Maryland DOT. Um, there was a big Caterpillar distribution up there, like you know, like the heavy yeah. equipment Caterpillar. Um, and then I'm also just um, oh, probably the past. Two or three years, I've been the voice of of a company that uh, they say they sell and service, um, you know, like uh, heating, AC equipment, things like that. So they're a big outfit, and I'm and I'm delighted to be the voice of their company. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Well, also, you're a drummer. Also, I'm a drummer. You know, so um, <laughs> add that in there too because right. I, yeah. I know you've played at churches around the area. Sure. I don't know what what other places are you playing at. Is this just a is this a fun thing to do? Or are you part of a band? Or you know, it, it, it's uh, it started as a career years ago when I first oh, wow. got out of high school. I thought well, I'm going to be a rock star. You know, okay. and so that was really the career path. And I took off and did that and had a lot of success, sold a lot of records and lived on the West Coast, lived on the East Coast, great gigs. And eventually just got to the point that um, my record label said, look, you need to start cranking out the hits like Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera are doing. And I'm like, hey, we're a rock outfit. Mm -hmm. I'll give you three hits and maybe a song on a soundtrack, you know? Um, and then uh, they said, well, we'll get back on the road. And I got tired of being on the road. So I got a real mm -hmm. job. You know, that's where the banking thing came in. So now I am, um, I, I, I drum over at Von Forest Church for those guys about okay. once every month to, uh, to two weeks to every month. And uh, that's where my that's where my rock star um, you, know, you know stuff is going on right now in that's church, and I love it. Are you able to say what the name of your band was? Um, there, I was in a band called Sovereign, okay. which was like a hard rock type outfit, and okay. there was another band that I was. Um, uh, I played drum 
drums for, um, and they were called Texas Jerry. It was kind of a, uh, a like a working title for the band, mm-hmm. but we were um, we were affiliated with the band Live. I don't know if you remember Live mm-hmm. from the from the nineties and two thousands. Yeah. We all came from from the same town, and so we were kind of like their little brothers, and they helped us along. You know? That's really cool. So, yeah, well, that's like a so, whole nother life. That let me you tell had, you, yeah. I, I feel like it's it, <laughs> it, it it was a whole lifetime ago as well too. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, today's topic, we're talking about professional voiceovers, right. why you need to use them, sure. where to find them at, and then basically how they can take your production to the next level. Uh, Dogwood did a blog post about this a couple months ago. Actually, I think it's a couple weeks ago. I yeah. can't remember exactly when we put it out. A lot of times I'll write them, and then they'll go out like a couple weeks later. Okay. Kind okay. of like when, you know, when you do a podcast, sometimes yeah. we record them in advance. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we yeah. actually like to pre-plan things. <laughs> and uh, so we, I wrote the swing, and, and it had a bunch of different – pieces in it, which you've, you've had a chance to read it sure. because I want it to kind of go through some of the points that are in the in the actual blog post. Mm-hmm. And then I've got a little special thing we'll have for our listeners at the very end, which I think they'll find very interesting. Yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll kind of move into that in a little bit later. But Perfect. the first thing on the thing was, why should people want a professional voiceover? You know... That's a that's a good question, and and I think that you know you'll you'll find these 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 ads out there and the commercials out there where like the owner will do the voice, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, or maybe they'll have their kids or their grandkids do the voice, um, and and that's fun and that's cute, but what what you got to think of is you got you want people to take you serious and you want to present your your brand whatever that is in the most serious most. Um, consistent, most clear way you can. You want to make sure you're being perceived as you're intending to be perceived. And sometimes you've, if you have a trained voice personality to come mm-hmm. in there and, and and read your script and to state your brand and to state your mission and to state, you know, I, I guess what I'm getting at is it, it it's p- part of the culture. If you mm-hmm. want a solid culture and a solid brand, then get get a pro in there to, to represent you. Yeah, that kind of leads right into... I kind of gave out several points in the article. One of them mm-hmm. was about viewer engagement. And one of the things I talked about was uh, it captivating an audience when you have a professional voiceover. That's right. Uh, just a way to keep them interested, mm-hmm. too. Um, another thing that we talked about was consistency. That's right. Um, and which is actually kind of – we were talking about this before we started recording about a voiceover that you knew of and uh, that he was providing the regular voice of a particular brand. Mm-hmm. And so it provided the consistency that you knew when you heard – this particular person, sure. I mean, you can. You're welcome to tell the story too. Uh, you heard this particular person, and like, okay, I know that that's this brand. That's right. Um, and you, you talked about that even too. Mm-hmm. That you had some brands that you were doing specifically over and over and over again, and that's they right. hear your voice, and you're like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's the guy that does this particular brand, and that's what the voiceover provides. That's right. That's right. You know, and, and the one, you know, like I was specifically speaking of, uh, the first thing that came to mind was I'm a big Sam Elliott fan. Love mm-hmm. that voice. You oh, know, yeah. uh, when he says Coors, the banquet beer, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That is, that's, that's it. You know, that's Sam Elliott, yeah. you know, that's Coors. Or another is just from, from a brand perspective, if you remember uh, the deadliest catch mm-hmm. and Mike Rowe, oh, when yeah. Mike Rowe's voice came on there and he starts talking about it, you immediately knew, oh, we're getting ready to watch deadliest uh-huh. catch, you know, and it was a good fit. His vocal tone, his presentation, his everything, his personality that was there, part of him, uh, you know, worked so well with that brand, mm-hmm. you know, so, so really good stuff. Do you ever see one of the behind the scenes episodes of Deadliest Catch? I've not. Uh, so they would, because Mike was never on the boats, of course. Right. Uh, but so he would be out shooting um, the other show that he was doing at the time, uh, the where he did Dirtiest Jobs. Yes. And yeah, so he would be out that, yeah. doing Dirtiest Jobs and they would go into a hotel and they would get all the comforters off the hotel beds <laughs> and they would bury Mike inside comforters wow. and with his microphone and his script. And he would sit in there and do his voiceovers yeah. inside that because they didn't have a vo- voiceover booth. He Crazy. had to get things done in time for the Deadliest Catch That's episodes right. to go out. That's right. And they just rigged up a studio and yeah. made it happen. It was it was a, the coolest episodes I think I ever saw when that he would awesome. do that. I love so, when you get to see how they make the donuts. Yes, you know? yes. And, and look, full disclosure here. Can I tell you about my studio? Okay, tell me. My studio is... Is my closet. Yep. You know, and the reason why I love it, because, you know, even if I tried to recreate the dead sound, because, you know, to explain to, to our listeners out there, you know, you want a dead sound. Like if you go into a room and you clap your hands, you want there to be no echo. You want it to be just a dead clap. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want any room sound. I want the mic to pick up all of my voice and I want to be able to manipulate volume or compression or whatever it is with that mic. And I don't mm-hmm. want the room sound in there at all. You know, so my closet is that's what it is. You know, it's so dead with all my my and I'm not going to, you know, put my wife out here like that, but she keeps a lot of 
know, stuff in our closet, just saying, you know. So, you know, so I get my little area in my closet there, which I have a Mac, you know what I mean? I have yeah. a mic, you know what I mean? And we just set up, and I, when they send me a script, I'll read inside this fantastic state-of-the-art studio that I have. And, uh, you know, that's it how, works. That's how you make I mean, the donuts. Yeah. yeah. Is, is this like a walk-in closet at it's least? walk-in. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Like, yeah. I was yeah. just like imagining it first, but, like, yeah, like the, the tiny two-by-two, two, like Bill's just standing there yeah. with a microphone yeah. reading with his wife's clothes on either side of him. I tell you, you know, but if I got a good sound out of it, I'd you would all, do it. I'd be all for it. Yeah. <laughs> But that's the thing. Like you yeah. can take a voiceover and do it in something like that, totally. and it be very professional sounding. That's right. Yep. It, the, the technology has evolved so much, and our abilities record it. But so it doesn't take very much to do this. We just have to put the extra effort into it and find the yeah. right person with the right voice yeah, for right. it. Um, that's right. Credibility, quality is another thing. Yes. That we talk about. Literally, we're. I mean, we're talking about the equipment. So, like, I'm curious, what kind of equipment do you have in, in your closet? Well, I use um, I, in, in my state of the art um, facility that I have. <laughs> Excuse- in my closet, yeah, right. <laughs> so I have a Mac, you know, and I yeah. use Audacity. Okay. Um, so I run it through Audacity, just get a nice clean level that I like. And I get my, my um, I have, like you have a pop filter right mm-hmm. here. I have an AT2020 Audio Technica mic, okay. just middle of the road. That has served me well for probably 15 years. And um, we use that and, you know, record it, put it on a WAV file, send it off, and that's how you do it. You okay. Know? Yeah. So you don't do any processing at all? If they do all that, you I, just... I send it to my guy. Like if, if I work with, typically what I'll do is they, they'll say, just give us a good clean read bill good okay. quiet clean read you know no reverb no no effects no nothing and so i'll send that like like if i'm doing a job for for my guy up in the baltimore dc mm-hmm. area i'll just send him a nice clean read he'll go to his studio he'll put something together get it to the ad agency they'll compress it or they'll pretty it up however they want to do it and polish it up and then they'll send it to the client you awesome know? yeah um so when it comes to actually finding people to do this because we've kind of clarified that this is the kind of thing you need for this is why you should do a professional voiceover mm-hmm. What is the best way to find people? Because in my article, I put in that the first one was an online marketplace. Yeah. But you mentioned like you you work for a talent agency also too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that, that was another thing I put in. There's professional talent agencies. That's right. Um, and then the other one was just getting personal recommendations. That's right. Um, so have you used any of the online marketplaces? Have you used things like Fiverr or vo- Voices.com or? Are you, you know, having any success? Have you heard people having success using those? Brian, I tell you, you know, a lot of times what happens is those marketplaces mm-hmm. water our industry down mm. because you'll have someone who um, isn't a very good voiceover artist, but maybe their mom or their their girlfriend said, "Hey, you okay. got a you got a cool voice," yeah. you know. So they'll say, "Well, maybe I should start doing voiceovers," and then they start doing these voiceover jobs that aren't really great, and high quality. Um, they'll use them with with their, their phone or something like that. Right. They'll charge the client ten bucks, and the client says, "We don't care, just send it to right. us." You know, they just want to send some it's, whatever. They out wanted there. somebody who wasn't their voice, basically. That's right. Yeah, exactly. They just wanted somebody who wasn't their voice, you mm. know. So um, if, I think if you want to, you know, uh, to get a good voice of artist, first things first, you call me, you know. So, yeah, of course. And then you'll reach out to Dogwood Media, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that, but, but like you said, all kidding aside, you know, there are, are you know, you just go online, search VO artist, voiceover artist. There are companies out there who will broker an artist for you. Or, you know, you could try the, the Fiverr thing if you don't have much of a budget or something mm-hmm. like that, you know. So many ways to do it. Um, and a lot of, I get a lot of my stuff just word of mouth. You know, okay. or, or online, I'll have friends reach out to me, you know, via Facebook Messenger or clients reach out Facebook Messenger. Hey, if we send you a script, can you read this? Sure. You know. Well, I know that's how we met. Literally, I sure. was walking outside of Dogwood Media in downtown Montgomery. That's right. This was probably about a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, it was one of your, I think, finishing up your meeting at the Rotary Club. It was late one evening. That's too. right. Yeah, like, you were leaving. Yeah. It was like almost seven thirty, eight o'clock, if yeah. I remember correctly, which is not the normal time that I'm leaving the office. Oh, come on now. You know, I, yeah. I, I promise I don't I do not do that very often. <laughs> I'll, I'll try not to. Right, right. But like literally, I was leaving that day, and then you, and, uh, as a friend of yours, yeah. were walking out, and, and you're like, what are y'all doing there? And yeah. I was like, like we're a marketing agency, yeah, yeah. and you're like I'm a voiceover artist. That's I was right. Like, cool. Yeah, yeah. And look, that was a rhetorical question. I knew what you did in there. You know, oh. I said, I said, and I think I even knew you. I was like, I bet that's Brian Harris. You did know? you really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How'd you know me? Though? Um, I think some social media. I mean, look, okay. I'm a voiceover guy. You know yeah. what I mean? So, so I knew of you, and I knew of the of the firm. I think I'd already followed you guys on social media. Okay. You know, and so I knew what you guys were doing. So it was just really just by chance. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Brian. Let me say yeah. hello and introduce myself. And so that's when we first got a chance to really connect and start to mm-hmm. network, and the rest is history. Well, know? we saw each other again in we football did. season because I'm involved with Pike Road Live, which is our like local TV broadcast for our high school football games. Sure. Your son's a drummer That's for, right. the high, for the band, mm-hmm. and you do all the voiceovers for the band. I do all their announcing, yeah. <laughs> so before every show, I'll say, you know, like I'll I'll state the show and who you know who's playing and, you know, just information about the show and then give the big, you know, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, the Pike Road Patriot Marching Band, you know, and I love it. fire up that, uh, that stadium. Everybody gets rolling, and we they do their show. 
Yeah. I remember we were, we were down. We were upstairs because yeah. we we're up on the roof. Y'all get to have the booth downstairs. The it's the professionals. A, it's AC, know? by the way. I know there's AC in there. We did. We had we had AC. It's a cool wind and rain. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. I, uh, <laughs> enjoy that a bit. No, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I will say. Hopefully, we're going to get a roof this year. That's right. the rumor. That so. would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> uh, but we were up there, and I heard your voice, and I was like, I know that voice. Yeah, man. I've heard it. Yeah. And like I've stuck my head through the hole because we're, there's a hole between the third and the second floor. Yeah, yeah. Stuck my head through there. And I was like, Oh, yep. There's Bill. There's Bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then when I saw you, I'm like, Brian, what's up, yep. buddy? Yeah, well, it worked yeah. out. Like I think the second or third game, we were down at the uh, uh, the football field downtown Montgomery, Crampton, 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 Ball, Crampton that's Ball. Right. and yeah. we were next door to the booth where you mm-hmm. guys do the voiceover, mm-hmm. and so you were able to come over next door to us, and we had you as a guest. Really, if I remember, didn't we? Do we, we, we have you on the air? Or? Um, I don't think I was on the air, but okay. it was a real brief. Like, and you guys are all great in that booth. Everybody's <laughs> so cool. You know what I mean? Everybody's so friendly. You guys do have a lot of fun. That's yeah. why I think that's why I came over there. I'm like, I want to have fun with these guys. Yeah. You know, so it's a lot of fun. We'll put you on a camera and give you a, give you a microphone. Come yeah. on. Let me don't say down. things like that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Before you know, I'm standing by the field. I'm like, well, I'm a sideline reporter here now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't say it. that could happen. Hey, look, I'm, I'm throwing it out there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was how we reconnected, and yep. I'm glad we've gotten to know each other more. So, Absolutely. all right. So, this is the part that I wanted to to throw at you to end our podcast with yeah, today. Yeah. And this might take a couple minutes. Uh, I have some scripts. Love it. And this is actually a real client. Mm-hmm. Uh, the name of the client is All South Appliance. They're okay. out of Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, they have a summer kitchen deal right now. Okay. And this is uh, we had another writer. The person's not on our staff, but it's a writer who's written this spot, and I'm going to okay. hand it to you. Uh, what I kind of want to ask you is like, what are the things that are going through your mind uh, when you get handed a script like this? I know you haven't had a chance to re- read this first, and so yeah. I kind of want to kind of really just get your first thoughts. Mm-hmm. You know, first thing I always look at is who's the client, what's mm-hmm. the product, and what's the message. Yeah. You know, and and really, how do I need to to um, to relay this message? You know, what's the what's to be the most efficient but yet attention getting way to to deliver their script? You know, um, like this is really easy. Time to place those old time to replace those old appliances. All South Appliance makes it easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to catch the name of that company. Mm-hmm. You know, All South Appliance. You know, makes it easy. You know, and so you have you got some punctuation in there. I'm a big fan of punctuation. Yeah. If you don't put a comma in the right spot, it can ruin the whole read for me. Mm-hmm. You know. So, but um, then, you know, then, then they tell you, they go on to tell you lowest prices in stock delivery and installation. Yep. All South makes all that easy order over the phone in, in one of our seven showrooms or, or online easy. So they really want to say that word easy. So, yeah. you know, I kind of chop, you know, chop my way through it as I'm just it reading your first read. Yeah. So. But, um, but it, clearly that's, that's the message that they want to convey. They want to let you know that, that what they do is, um, they, they make your life easier. You know, all South appliance makes it easy. Lowest prices in stock delivery and installation. Yep. All South makes all that easy order over the phone in one of our seven showrooms or online. Easy. Even apply for credit online. You guessed it. All South makes that easy too. So when shopping for appliance, shop All South Appliance. Just visit myallsouth.com to find a showroom nearest you. It's that easy. Yeah, that so, was amazing. Yeah, that's their thing. Clearly, <laughs> they want you to know it's that easy. So, you know, to me, I also like to look for the the, the tagline. Yeah, you know, and to me, it, here it is. That, that's the last one. Make sure you always say that website clear and slow it down a little bit. Just visit myallsouth.com to find a showroom nearest you. It's that easy. And that's that. That was amazing. That's cool, man. Thank you. It's that's right. You like literally did that in two minutes. Just grabbed it. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty so, cool. Yeah. So the All South Appliance. I'll go and tell you. I should have probably give you a more heads up on them. They are. Uh, they have six stores throughout okay. the southeast. Yeah. And uh, so this is going to air on their Birmingham market, um, which is where their big store is. They have like a major. Like a, it used to actually be a toy store. A, was it called Toys R Us location? Okay. And they converted it into an appliance store, and it's a beautiful store. Wow. And so like high end appliances, the Wolf appliances, like the the really nice stuff. Mm-hmm. And then they have, but they have kitchens throughout the whole thing. So not only are you going in and looking like rows and rows of, of refrigerators, but they actually have like a true showroom wow. where you can see what the appliances look like mm-hmm. in your kitchen. Yeah. And so they have. So a lot of people use it as a way to kind of get ideas for when they're building their house. And so it's like you talked about, they've made it super easy. Easy to yeah. come in and and find what you want yeah. and being able to see it in real life scenarios of what it would actually look like in your kitchen. Oh, that's and cool. so it's it's kind of a a different step than like going to like a Circuit City or like, I don't know if Circuit City exists any longer. But I remember Circuit City. Yeah, well, yeah. Home Depot for yeah, that. Sure. You go to Home Depot, they're just they're just lined up. Yeah, uh, which is nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, you you pay for a little bit more this kind of thing, but they also have local service. Right. Uh, they're a um, 
they're going to deliver it to you and you're going to get a professional that carry it into your house and plug it up and that kind of thing too. Yeah. So yeah. We, we actually have three of these scripts and we don't awesome. have to do, we don't have to do all these right now. If you want me to, man, I'll, I'll read. If you, you want to do another one? This, it's up to you. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Or let me hand it. This one's uh, about their dishwasher deals. Okay. So here you go. Uh, another all south. Yes. So we, we already know, you know, looking ahead here, they're looking at, uh, okay, so we want to talk about the brands that they carry. Um, just go into that a little bit. So yeah, so here we go. All South Appliances delivering is delivering dishwasher deals. Is that yeah? Yeah. Just, I didn't misspell it. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, but you got to get that right because they're yes. like, no, 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 we misspelled it on purpose. Read it like that. Nah, that you was know? just misspelled. So, but that's a, <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, that's a good. That, that, I'm that's I'm glad we found that because yeah. so many times I go, hey, you guys misspelled that. They said, no, we didn't. Read that. Oh, yeah. So, okay. or no, that comma is supposed to be there. You know. Hmm. So, um, all South is stocked with big time savings on your favorite brands: Bosch, Bico, KitchenAid, GE, and more. All South has this th- has this three rack Bosch dishwasher for only seven ninety five. Get this KitchenAid two rack dishwasher for six ninety five. Visit our showroom and discover how All South helps stretch your dollar and make it easy. Visit myallsouth.com to find your nearest showroom. So how many reads do you normally do when you get when you're given a script at your home studio? Sometimes, man, you know, and that's a good question because I'll get these 15 minute little tags that they'll want to run just kind of in between stuff, mm-hmm. and those are the most the biggest pains because a you got to get your timing right. You know, they say I need it's going to be a 15 minute script, but I need you to give it to me in 17 15, so we can edit. 15, 15 seconds. 15 second. I'm that's sorry, insane. I said minute. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 15 minutes um, is a long time. Yeah, I'm like that's a big <laughs> one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, 15 seconds, and you've got to get it in in 17 seconds because that way they say give us two minutes so we can snip and compress and do this yeah. and. Speed up, slow down, all that. So they want you to give them a little bit. So you got to nail that too. So sometimes the little fifteen second jobbies are, are the ones you're like, oh my gosh, I've read this eight thousand times. And you they know, didn't specify on the script either what time length this was. Yeah, it looks like this is probably. I mean, you could stretch it. You know, I think um, it's a thirty. Right? Yeah, all South Appliances delivering dishwasher deals. You know. Yeah, all south is stocked with big time savings. Big time savings, and that's another thing. Mm-hmm. Big time savings on your favorite brands. You know, so once I read it a couple times and I get into it, you know, there are certain words that you. That, and even when I'm doing voiceovers, by the way, you can see I kind of talk with my hands mm-hmm. now. Yeah. When I do, when I do the actual voiceover, oh, my hands are all over the place. You know what I mean? Do do do. You know, I, I the fists in the air, yeah. the hands. You know what I mean? It just it helps to deliver the vocal even better. Yeah. This is really cool to watch this. It's fun, this, man. This, this is like that micro episode. I'm like, I'm getting to live it. Yeah. You know? Hey, look, put me in a bunch of blankets here. Let's see if we can get done with this cool mic you have. Just you know? pull your jacket over here. You'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Look, look. Do you want to do this last one, or is that enough? Might as well, man. Let's get okay, one more shot. Is, yeah, yeah. This is the summer laundry deals with Whirlpool. Okay, okay. So, so th- this is a bunch of different washing and dryers. To clean clothes, save money. Okay. Just talking about simple. Um, yeah, here we go. Clean clothes, save money. It's that simple when you shop All South Appliance. Notice when I got to the All South Appliance. Mm -hmm. That's the brand name. You want to make sure you stretch that out and read it really clear. All South has the largest selection of laundry sets you'll find anywhere. It's everything you need at the lowest price and in stock. Shop today and set up delivery or take them home immediately. Like this Whirlpool top load laundry set for just four to five forty five each. And this Whirlpool front end load washer for and dryer, just seven forty five each. Now is the time to save with All South. Just visit myallsouth.com to find your showroom. Awesome. There we go, buddy. Yeah, man, those that's are good. so awesome. Yeah, those are cool, man. But, well, yeah. but we're going to finish at the podcast, and we'll do an actual recording that we'll use on the air and everything. Too. Perfect. Yeah. So people, when they're watching, actually, when they're listening to this podcast, if they see an All South commercial, especially in the Birmingham market, or yeah. uh, they're in Chattanooga. Um, I can't even remember all the locations they're at. There's six of them. Wow. Okay. So there's like one in Destin, but I think these are all going to air in Birmingham mostly. Cool. But so if anyone goes to Birmingham, they might be able to hear this spot that we're recording right here in our studio today. We just kind of give them a little inside look. I so. think that's cool. They got yeah. to hear how we make the donuts. <laughs> yeah. Know? And they get yeah. to hear the reasons why they need to have a professional voiceover. Ah, over. which is really yep. what, we're, what we're trying to talk about. Well, yeah. um, well, the next episode, well, I'll be actually be back and be hosting another one with awesome. Nalene Crocker. She's our graphic designer. Uh, she'll be my guest, and I have about ten thousand questions, probably about ten more. Or, or 10 less when I've asked you today, maybe. <laughs> uh, and so, so we can talk about graphic design and get to hear all about what she does as a graphic designer here for us. Oh, I love it. So if you like what you're hearing here uh, for the Dogwood Podcast, you can head over to our website at dogwoodmediasolutions.com. Check out the other blog content we've written as well as listen to other podcast episodes that you might have missed. If you're looking to connect with us on our website, is the best place to do that as well. You can contact us directly through the site, and all of our social accounts are linked there as well. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our podcast and leave a review. And you can find 
all of you can find basically every podcast we have every every platform is out there we has our podcasts on it they're on everywhere so you can uh, find your favorite podcast platform subscribe to us wherever that one is uh again thanks for tuning in the dogwood media solutions podcast thanks bill for being my guest here today hey, look it's my pleasure let me you gotta let me deliver the 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 uh the uh, the goods here okay dogwood media solutions Perfect, thank you. There you go. Hey, you want to say this? This is what we say at the end of every podcast but, right here. Is it this one? This is that line right there. Perfect. Thanks for tuning in to the Dogwood Media Solutions Podcast. And until next time, happy marketing.